well and welcome back to my channel. I am currently hiking the Tahoe Rim Trail and it is day two, so our first morning like actually camping and sleeping out on the trail. If you missed the first episode, I'll put it somewhere on the screen so you can go back and watch that first. Um, but yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's already been a very eventful first day. We had a ton of mishaps, especially around water and water preparedness. And then we ended up camping. So we walked the first day from Tahoe City to just past Brockway, um, where you cross the highway. Uh, and it was like 21 miles. And a half, yeah. yeah, 21-ish miles. And we were just so toasted. So we camped on this like super slanty hill. And then literally we've now been walking for 10 minutes this morning and it's so flat. And we realized if we would have walked 10 more minutes, <laughs> we could have camped flat, but it's all good. We got a good night's sleep and it's about, yeah, like 7.45 in the morning. And we're gonna try to walk similar distance that we did yesterday today. But yeah, so far so good. Definitely a little bit, the water situation on this first stretch is definitely trickier than we, really anticipated. So if any of you are thinking about doing the TRT yourself, um, I would just be more mindful than we were <laughs> about planning for water. Luckily there was a water stash, which again, if you watched that last vlog, you would have seen, but without that, we would have been definitely, even, even trying our best, we definitely would have been struggling a little bit. So we have about 10 more miles to our next water source this morning. And then from there, it seems like there's one at least every 10 miles. So not not terrible, like we can totally carry enough water to get by for that. So I think that's it for now. We're gonna get hiking and hopefully today is a little more smooth than yesterday was, but at the same time, like it was still awesome. Yeah, even with all the mishaps, it was rad. zoomed in I'm using my other camera instead of my GoPro to film it but I'm just too lazy to get the GoPro out but we're just walking between we're kind of above the uh, like Crystal Bay area and Incline Village and a lot of you probably don't know this but I actually went to college in Incline Village there's a small school down there like a I don't know 500 undergrad it's tiny but all I cared about at, at college age was snowboarding it was like a competitive snowboarder and so anyways it's really cool I lived in this North Lake area for six years of my life, um, you know, the four years of college and a little bit after. And it's so cool to look down and see it from this perspective because even living here for so many years, I never, you know, this is never a perspective that I got of, you know, this area that I live. So it's cool. I can like see the school from here. It's hard to really zoom in with the cameras that I brought, but hopefully you can kind of see the zone over there and to just think of all the memories. Oh, it just makes me so, so happy. I'm really, really enjoying today's hike. The views are amazing. Yesterday we were just really in the woods the whole time. And this time we're like up on this ridgeline. The views are spectacular. Just every single direction you look, it's just gorgeous. <laughs>
reached our first water source in 19 miles and it's like this trickling little stream but someone was smart enough to use a leaf to make a little funnel so we're just funneling it into the filter bag um, and we're yeah we're really excited it's a super hot day both of us drank our bags completely dry and we are ready for some water so the one thing I will say on this hike so far is that the water carries are a little bit longer um, than we expected and so if you're thinking of doing <laughs> a it a little bit longer yeah if you're thinking of doing the trail though just be really mindful and like maybe think ahead about um, the water because we definitely do that didn't do that and we're fine obviously we're making it happen um, but we've had to do you know quite a few stretches super thirsty <laughs> or like carry a large amount of water to make it from water source to water source which makes it so much heavier um, so yeah just something to be mindful of but wow this section the views this is like, it's so beautiful today. Dry, but beautiful. Tell me that you want to stay. Baby, just don't walk away. I need you now. Fade it out. All the time we spent alone. Fighting through the fire stone. Don't let me down. I need you now Cause I'm feeling worn out It's getting to me Lost some heart trying to get on my feet Caught in the madness I feel you somehow Don't let me go I need you right now I wanna be next to you You wanna be next to Officially made it to the highest point on the TRT um, We're at 10,000 300 feet which is the highest point it's the highest point right yes, sir. okay highest point on the trail and um so far it looks like this would be the biggest day of climbing that we have uh and i feel that <laughs> we've just basically been walking uphill all day it's also a lot more exposed this stretch so that first stretch we did was mostly in the trees this has been like all open so i feel we're feeling the elements a little bit more today the heat the um the uphill it's you know 3,000 feet of climbing for me like vertical feet of climbing doesn't sound too crazy but honestly adding the pack the pack weight it it really like it was a lot more than three it felt like a lot more than 3,000 feet for me today but it feels great to be here on top of the world and it's the rest of the way is downhill um and yeah it's crazy how different yesterday's hike was compared to today's hike and i'm just really excited to see how it all evolves because um it's like literally it feels like an entirely like we're looking at the same lake this whole time but this felt like an entirely different hike than yesterday's hike so anyways we're only going to hang here for a minute or two because it's very exposed to the sun um and we're gonna go down from here so <sighs> feels good to sit though have some kind of unfortunate news uh we noticed Tabor was like favoring her left paw left front paw a little bit and uh, I take a look at it and she's got a pretty good little cut on there I don't know how it happened you know there's a lot of different things that's kind of part about part of being out in nature is that those things happen um but it's looking like her through hike may have to end here in the morning Luckily, we cross over a main road um, that actually is surprisingly only like 30 minutes from where Chrissy lives. And uh, so one thing I will say about all of this is I only brought Tabor on this because Chrissy's amazing husband, Ben, um, let me know that he would be willing to pick her up 
anywhere. We have multiple road crossings on this uh, on this whole hike. And he let me know he'd be willing to pick her up anywhere, anytime if she needed it. Um, because I knew this was a big hike for her. And she did all the training with me and she's been honestly holding up so well with all the mileage. But I do think the heat has been hard for her. It was very hot and exposed today. Um, but I don't think it's smart to have Tabor doing 20 plus mile days with a cut on her paw. So I'm gonna clean it up um, and give her a little bandage, put some uh, some ointment on it, give her a little bandage. We have just maybe two miles to the road and then he's gonna pick her up. Man, like I wish I could say when he, when he drops us off our resupply at our midway point that she could come with us. That was my original hope when I saw that she was limping. But once I saw that it was actually like a little cut thing, um, I just don't think it's gonna happen. I'm trying not to be really bummed because it's really, really, really awesome to be out here. We have a really beautiful campsite tonight. We did not hike nearly as far as we planned because of what happened with Tabor. Um, so I'm trying not to let it take, you know, take the mood down, but oh, I just love her so much. That makes my heart hurt. And I know she would love this and it sucks that something small like this can take her out. But um, yeah, but the reality of it is I think it would be irresponsible to continue on and just just honestly plain cruel so i guess the one thing i'll say for any of you who are planning on bringing your dog like it, just make sure you have a, a plan if something were to happen um like i said the only thing that made me feel comfortable bringing her on this through hike sorry the mosquitoes are like eating me alive right now but the only thing that made me feel comfortable bringing her for this big type of adventure is that i knew that we crossed the road multiple times and that Ben could come get her. So I, I honestly didn't think that it was going to be necessary and it sucks, but I know it's the right thing. So we're going to sleep tonight. Hopefully I can make her feel more comfortable with a little bandage. Um, she seems to be just chilling now that we're not moving and then we'll say goodbye to her in the morning and Christy and I will continue on and she will be in such good hands with Ben. Um, He's such a dog lover. It was so cute. Like when she met him, she was like so stoked. So anyways, that is what it is. Um, we're just going to eat some dinner, go to bed, and then we'll hike out those two miles in the morning and meet him at the road. this morning as you saw yesterday I wrapped up her paw and cared for her little wound and I've left that bandage on right now we're walking out the two miles to the road and it seems to be helping she's like pretty much walking completely normal and just acting like herself so that makes me feel a lot better um, I am obviously still going to have her go home with Ben um, just because we have some big mile days and I think that a uh, small not so bad thing can turn into a really big, really bad thing <laughs> if we force her to push it. But 
yeah, so we're just gonna walk the two miles to the car and then um, and then we'll send her with him. I think knowing that she's doing okay makes me feel a lot better. I didn't sleep very well last night. I was definitely kind of just worrying about her well-being. And now this morning, just seeing how much better she is, I think the thing that I worry or that's like on my mind the most is just how much I'm gonna miss her. Um, we do everything together. We do all the training together. Like we ski together, <laughs> we rock, like she comes on everything. And you know, I'm really grateful that I have Chrissy here and we can do this together, but it's definitely gonna be so weird to be in the tent and not look over and see that little teddy bear face, but her well-being is more important. Um, so anyways, that's the only update I have on all of that. I just wanted to let you guys know that she is doing a lot better, but I would say if you take your dog on this hike, I would just be really mindful. There's a lot of things that I didn't really, uh, that I didn't realize, like the water, the stretches without water. And we have two more days with like really hard water stretches. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny cause like I just, most of the backpacking do, we have tons of streams and everything. And, but yeah, the, the water is definitely tricky. And so obviously Tabor is more of a priority for water than, than I am. Like I make sure she gets water before I get water. But yeah, that, that part's tricky. And obviously something got her paw. So I know a lot of dog owners will have their dogs wear booties. She's never worn booties, whether she's like backcountry skiing with us or like climbing summits. And we've never had anything happen to her paw. So honestly, it could be a freak accident or whatever, but definitely something to consider. So anyways, we're gonna keep hiking and uh, see you at the car. Ben and that just makes it so much easier um, to let her go with him and just yeah the fact that she was feeling better and all of that makes me feel good in knowing that she's gonna be well taken care of and that it's nothing serious um, she doesn't need to go to the vet or anything like that because obviously if that if it was that serious I just feel like I would have to get off and go with her so anyways I'm just trying to get out of my mind I do keep like looking back to see her <laughs> and realizing she's not there so it's a little weird but because she was doing so good this morning, um, I'm holding the possibility in my heart that she may be able to join us again uh, when we resupply in a few days. But I won't get I won't I won't get too caught up in that idea. I just you know obviously we'll have to see how she's doing. But anyways, we're just making our way into section three on day three here, and it feels like a good time to end this episode. And uh, so yeah, I think that's it for now. I'll pick you guys up in the next episode. If you like this video, <laughs> I know. If you like this video and you're enjoying these vlogs from our adventure, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.